Green Bar Bill Hillcourt is recognized as one of the most prolific writers in the history of the BSA, with numerous magazine articles and columns and at least 23 book titles to his credit. He authored three editions of the Boy Scout Handbook, of which more than 12.6 million copies were printed. In the early 1960s, Hillcourt worked with Lady Ole baden pole to author quite possibly one of his most famous works, baden pole Two Lives a Hero, originally published in 1964. Nelson Block, President and Chairman of the Green Bar Bill Hillcourt Foundation, joins us this week to talk about Hillcourt and his book, Two Lives a Hero, on this edition of Artifact of the Week. Nelson, thanks for joining us again. And today I'd like to talk about a special opportunity for Bill Hillcourt, writing the biography of Lord baden pole How did that project come about? So uh, Bill actually knew Lord baden pole and also Lady baden pole um, fairly well. He first met Lord BP at the 1920 Jamboree in Britain and met him uh, five other times during the course of his life. Uh, he collected scout memorabilia and historical items uh, throughout his life. He was born in 1900 and started scouting in Denmark uh, in 1910, moved to the United States in 1926. Um, he knew scouters from all over the world, so he was able to collect a lot of information about scouting in general. Um, he specialized in learning about Lord baden pole and in the 1960s uh, he visited with Lady baden pole about doing a biography uh, with her consent and her help. She agreed to that and Bill did a very intensive research talking to people who had known BP, uh, talking to people who he had met uh, over the years uh, who had been, for example, at the Brown Sea Island Experimental Camp. Uh, so uh, people who knew BP uh, as uh, a scout, and also people who knew BP uh, as uh, a soldier, uh, or had studied BP's life as a soldier. Um, Bill was a very thorough researcher, and he used to call himself the Doubting Thomas kind of historian who questioned everything. So his research was very, very thorough. So when he and Lady BP sat down to write the biography, he already had a tremendous amount of research. He added on to that. Um, Lady BP often, uh, you know, as any wife would, knew things that nobody else knew uh, or could fill in the blanks uh, in a lot of uh, open spaces in the research that Bill had done. And Bill came up with the first very thorough uh, and quite academic biography of baden pole by the time uh, Bill was writing, there had probably been about 25 uh, serious biographies of BP. Bill's was the first to have footnotes, uh, and they're very extensive. Um, and so for uh, many people, it's the first place they go for an authoritative biography of Lord baden Powell, and it's called baden Powell: The Two Lives of a Hero. I understand the Hillcourt Foundation has much of Bill's research, his notes, and even drafts of the book in the collection. Is that something that you do still have possession of? Uh, we, we do. Um, most of those items are uh, on loan to the National Scouting Museum, where researchers uh, who are uh, doing uh, academic scholarly research on Lord baden pole or the beginning of scouting can come and study them. We've also recently republished uh, this book, uh, and it's now available for sale uh, in a number of places, including the National Scouting Museum. So what would you say is one of the, the, the neater stories that comes out of this biography that you'd like to share? Um, BP learned his uh, finer points of what we would call scout craft uh, while he was a soldier. Uh, he enjoyed camping and learned it as a young person, but he really fine-tuned it as a soldier and also a hunter. He was a, a, an outdoorsman and a big game hunter, uh, and he knew a lot about tracking. One of my favorite stories is uh, he and a native guide in Africa are tracking some uh, African warriors, and he finds a wet leaf. It's a very large leaf, uh, and he knew that beer for this native tribe was stored in large jugs and the stopper on the large jug would be several of these big leaves that they put into the top of the jug. 
So he looked at it, smelled it, he could tell it was beer. Uh, he felt there was some dampness, but not too much. Uh, he had noticed the wind in earlier in the day, and from all that information, he was able to determine uh, where the uh, African warriors probably were. So he and his guide went there and in fact found them. Thank you, Nelson, for taking the time to tell us the story of the riding of Baden Pole, Two Lives a Hero. As Nelson mentioned, you can buy a copy of the latest printing from the NSM gift shop. Contact the gift shop for additional information. This edition also has a bonus section, Green Bar Bill, the story of William Hillcourt by Nelson Block. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Join us next time as we continue to learn more about the history of the BSA through the collection of the National Scouting Museum and Artifact of the Week.